go hello everybody this is a very amateur like video but i'm so frustrated i don't know if people have encountered the same thing that i have when you are trying to mail something off that somebody has purchased from you this is like honestly my first time mailing something that's kind of big um somebody bought from me some tv trays antique tv trays from offer up and i thought okay well no big deal i'll mail them to the person right so the day before Christmas, the person requested them, and I think they give you like three days to send them off. So with not accounting for the holiday, technically, they should be mailed off today. And I got a message, you know, saying, hey, did you mail the things off yet? And I have not mailed them off yet. So I kind of waited till the end of the day thinking, OK, I'll be able to find a box from FedEx, UPS, USPS or somewhere like that. Right. But then I had to take into account, well, I'm excited because I'm selling these things for uh, $20, right? OfferUp is taking like $2 for their service. Um, and I bought them for maybe like $5, I think. So it's a little profit there. I could have sold them for more because t antique TV trays go for more than that. But I just totally, you know, it didn't matter to me because I need to just go ahead and sell them. So meanwhile, I'm thinking that it's going to be so easy to find a box for these things no I've been driving around <laughs> going everywhere trying to find a box to fit these TV trays and it has not been easy I tell you um, so basically um, I'm gonna show you like what I finally did okay so I somebody gave me a box I don't even remember. I've been so many places I don't remember who gave me this box somebody gave oh at the post office the woman gave me this box here right so this box is fine because it fits the actual I'm sorry oh lord it fits the actual tray part how unprofessional of me but it fits the actual tray part which you'll see right here have I measured it no I don't measure when I'm cooking I obviously don't measure when I'm sending stuff either but so okay I'm looking at it okay this box is fine but then when you go down I can't carry that when you go down to the frame of the TV tray, which is much bigger. Again, I don't measure. This is the frame of the TV tray, right? So it's long, it's metal, it opens up. That part doesn't really matter, but it opens up. So that has to be able to fit in the box as well. That didn't fit in the box, so it became like a panic and a frustration. So what I did was I just kind of sat and I just said, okay, let me go on Walmart because you know, you try not to go to Walmart all the time, but when worse comes to worse, Walmart always has what you need, right? So I went to Walmart and I started looking at their displays and underneath their displays, they had the boxes of, you know, things that they were displaying because it's a display, right? So I saw some boxes by like the company Mainstay and they had like the TV tray, not TV tray, but the TV stand set up and all that. Then I walked by the section with the TVs I was like man that's the box I need right there so I went and I found a person and I was really nice I didn't sound frantic because I was frantic but I just said um, you know I'm gonna need a box I told him what I was doing he told me no problem he went to the back I followed him and he found me what a nice and I should be able to flip my camera around for you guys but I can't so I'm gonna just like show you but he found me a nice box right so this is the box a nice TV box, right? A nice TV box. So when I pulled out the nice TV box, uh, well, when I took it out, I saw that the things actually fit in there. The, the TV tray stand part, the metal part, the part that holds up the tray. So they actually all fit in there, which is great because at this point, I didn't know what kind of box I was gonna use. I didn't know what I was gonna do but they all fit in there and then this part will fit in there too there's four of them so they will all fit in there nicely so I made this video to basically show you okay if you have to mail antique TV trays just go ahead and get a box for TVs that kind of is logical though TV trays TVs it all fits together but for some reason I didn't think of that but yeah so my um, journey for this is over. I do have another set of TV trays 
um, and I'm going to be professional this time I'm going to actually measure it so I will have the measurements but I'm pretty sure the other TV trays will fit in this same box and this box is for I don't know what size is this TV uh, I want, oh for a 32 inch TV so if you have TV trays like standard size TV trays whatever that means but uh, it looks like they'll fit in the 32 inch box for TVs. Meanwhile. Okay, so I just thought I'd do this little video uh, because I couldn't find anything about that. But now you have something. So if you have TV trays, get a TV box. Um, I was going to pad the box with all that foamy stuff, but the more and more that I spend, the less I'm getting. So I'm not gonna spend on that. I'm gonna use the blanket and I'm gonna wrap them so that they don't break and then I'm gonna pack them. I'm gonna print off my shipping label and then I'm gonna send them and that's gonna be it. So meanwhile, like I said, I just thought I'd do this video because I don't think anybody else has done the video on TV trays or sending TV trays. Maybe they have, but I couldn't find one. All right, so that's it. This is CC for Star Plus Estate Sales. If you need help with your estate sale, just feel free to drop me a line. Thank you.